Hey everybody, I'm going to burn this dollar and I want everybody to see what happens to this dollar when it burns like so. Oops, I think it was gonna burn too much. I mean, there you go, the dollar's burning and it's on the floor now, but that's okay. Music. Yeah, there you go. There it is. There it is. It's burning. Okay, you ever heard of that expression? You know, your money is burning. Well, this is really money burning. It's gone. Josh, can we use this? Uh, no, we can't. No, it's gone for good, forever. Okay. Um, now that was just a dollar, and the reason why I wanted to do that is because, you know, every single day. Uh, people burn their money. They don't literally burn their money, but they, you know, <laughs> don't use their money. You know, yeah. I mean, they they throw away money in other ways. Okay, uh, if they knew what they were doing every single day, they would stop doing it because nobody wants to burn their money. Now, I burn my dollar. I don't have a dollar to spare, but I wanted to get everybody's attention so that we can go over this um, this formula over here to hopefully uh, help people out with some of their uh, decisions when they make in terms of financing, right? Yep. Okay, cool. So uh, first of all, I'm Robert Savori. I'm Josh. Okay, and uh, what we wanna talk about today is I equals PRT, okay? Now for, Josh, thank you. For, for um, some people who don't know what that this is, I equals PRT is the formula that banks use whenever uh, uh, we wanna finance um, certain items. And, and the particular item I want to talk about today is uh, cars, okay? Because, mm. I mean, everybody has a car, right? right Whether right. it's leased or, or, um, or purchased. And, you know, most people don't have, you know, 15000 I mean, most people don't even have, like, $2,000 in their bank account, um, you know, let alone, like, $10,000, $15,000, $20,000 to drop on a car and pay cash. So they have to finance, okay? Mm -hmm. And a lot of people don't understand how... Um, the interest rate of a car is gonna is gonna affect them for the next several years while they own the, you know this car. So uh, I'm gonna go over this, and uh, the reason why I want to go over this is because I, I'm 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 homeschooling my my son. Uh, his name is Eddie. He's 12 years old, and we just went over about two weeks ago. I equals P R T, and he understood it, and it's very easy. To, it's very simple to understand. Okay, so first of all, I uh, stands for interest. Okay. P is for principal, R is for rate, T is for time. Okay, so interest equals principal times rate times time. Okay, and this is exactly what it, how, how this works, okay? If you wanna know what the interest rate, what the, what the total interest you're gonna pay on, for example, a car that you're buying for, let's say, $20,000, okay? Um, actually, you know, cars cost more than that nowadays, right? Yeah. So that, let's say $30,000 um, uh, with a 6.5% with a uh, interest rate for five years. Usually it's simple math, and you'll, you'll know what the interest rate is. Then you're going to add it to whatever it is that you bought it for, and then you divide it by the amount of months uh, of the years that, that you're getting a, a, this, this, this loan for, okay? So we're gonna go over this real quick, okay? So, uh, very simple. So once again, Josh, uh, what was the, um, the purchase price of the car? 30,000. 30,000, okay, so, so $30,000, right? And let's just say this includes like the closing costs, right? Like the taxes that you pay and all that stuff, okay? And the rate was what, was 6.5%, right? Okay. Okay. And for how many years uh, is this loan for? Let's say 72 months. Which is six years, right? Mm -hmm. So six years, okay, 72 months, okay? So it's very simple, all right? So I equals the principal times the rate times the time, okay? So let's move over here. So it goes like this, so $30,000 all right, times, okay, because this is a 6.5 interest rate, um, um, we, don't, we, we don't multiply this by 6.5, we multiply it by this times 100. So if you move this over two spaces, right, uh, there's a zero here, and then this goes here. So then 
you do $30,000 times 0 0.065, okay, times, it's the years over here. So the time is not the months, it's the years, okay? So times six years. So all we have to do now is just multiply this across, okay? So uh, Josh, can I use your phone uh, as a calculator? Yeah, sure. Or, or can, you, can, can you do it for me? Yeah, Please. definitely. Okay, awesome. So uh, just put in 30,000 okay. times 0 0.065. Times 0 0.065. Times six. Times six. Yes. What does that equal? We have 11,700. Okay, so that's $11,700. Okay, you, you're absolutely right about that, right? Yep. Okay, all right. So then that's $11,700. So now that you pay an, an interest alone, Okay, so so then so then which is actually like six and a half percent isn't that bad. It's not the best either. Okay, and we're gonna talk about like how having good credit can make this go lower. Right? Maybe we'll talk about it in another video. I just wanted to focus here just on this. So how how you get this? And okay. not to get sidetracked, you should also tell them about the deal that you got because you have awesome credit on one of the cards that you have. Yeah, and uh, my, my interest rate on that is 0%. I, I'm not paying any interest on this because this over here is a zero, right? So then when you have a zero here, you know, you multiply, you know, let's say the car costs 30,000 times zero, it's zero. Times six years, it's still zero. So my interest rate is zero, not my interest rate, my interest that I pay is zero. And so, that's awesome. And all I gotta pay is just the principal back, right? And we're gonna go over that. So. So now that we know what the interest is, what we have to pay, okay, all right? This is what we have to pay now in six years. You add this to this, which is $41,700. This is how much you have to pay back to the bank that lends you, that, that gives you the loan for this car, okay? Um, now remember, this isn't too bad. It's, it's also not that great, but this is what you know people get and that, that and that's okay. Six years is normal, okay? Um, all right, now you gotta pay 41,700. Now, what are your monthly payments gonna be? Very simple. Josh, what's 41,700 divided by 72? 41,000 divided by 72? Yep. Divided by 72 in our handy dandy calculator says 569.8. Four four, four four. Okay, so now it's five hundred sixty nine dollars and forty five cents. Okay, so this is what your monthly payment is gonna be. All right, if um, if the numbers are like this. Okay. Now, keep in mind that um, uh, uh, I'm thinking about now, like when people usually go to car dealers. What's the what's one of the first things they ask you? I don't know if you know this, Josh. What's one of the first things that a car dealer, uh, you know, somebody who works there, a salesperson, asks you, you know, if you want to get a car? They ask me, what am I okay with paying monthly? Yeah, and whatever you tell them, they're like they're gonna be like, okay, I got this person. Wonderful. I got him. Yeah, because now the thing is, is most people don't know how this works, right? They'll say. You know what? For the for this new car, I'm willing to pay seven hundred dollars, seven hundred dollars a month. Okay. If you tell a car salesperson this, what then they're gonna do is they're still gonna get you the thirty thousand dollar car, okay? But then they'll play with this number. You know, they're gonna get it to you for thirty thousand dollars for six years. But then they're gonna say, okay, um, hey, I have great news for you. I'm getting you the car, and all you're doing is paying no more than 700 bucks per month. Why are they doing that? Let's do the math. Let's say they find the bank that gives you a 10% rate, okay? Josh, can you help me out with this? What is, sure. what is the math? Can you do 30,000 times 0 0.01 times six? 30,000 times 0 0.016. No, yeah. no 30,000 times 0 0.01 times 6. Times 0 0.01 times 6. 
Yep. 0 0.01 times, times six. six. Yep. That's 1800. Okay, that's, it can't be that. Okay. It can't be. So it's 0 point. Oh, no, because I had it wrong. Okay. Okay, this has to be like this. Okay, my bad, Josh. Equals times six. So then that's $18,000. Mm -hmm. So now your interest is 18,000. Oops, it's 18,000, right? So now when you add the principal, because this is what you bought the car for, right? Plus now the interest that you're gonna pay to the bank, that comes out to now $48,000, okay? Right? Now Josh, help me out here. Sure. What's 48,000 divided by 72? 48,000 divided by 72 is 666 point that. 666.67. Okay. So now, guess what? Now the salesperson is going to say, you know what? I got you the car that you want. And you see how nice it smells in there. It's a brand new car smell. Hook, okay. line, and yeah. sinker. And, you know, and that's the, um, the minivan for you and your family. Like, can't you see your kids in there watching the video in there? And, and it's nice and, and clean and brand new. And guess what? You told me that you were willing to pay up to $700. I'm getting it to you for $666 a month, okay? What they're not telling you is that they're giving you a 10% interest rate when you probably qualify for like a 5% interest rate, okay? Or 6%, and we saw how much the monthly payments were gonna be with a 6.5% with a, with a interest rate. Right. So in other words, what's happening here is that you're going to be paying the thirty thousand dollars to uh, to the bank for the car, which is fair. Like that's what you're paying for. But now you're going to be paying eighteen thousand dollars in interest alone for this car because you don't know this simple mathematics. Yikes. So once again, when I'm homeschooling my son, Eddie, who's 12 years old, he gets this like he completely understood this he was like oh like this is this is easy all you got to do is all you got to do to get your interest is the principal right times the rate times the time which is the years which we did over here right principal times the interest times the rate equals the you know equals uh, the interest okay then you add this to this which is this and then you divide it by the amount of months that you're getting that, that, that you're getting this loan for, which is this, okay? And in fact, I could probably put this up to maybe 11 or 12% and still get this under the $700,000 monthly payment uh, max that, that, that you can make, okay? Now, the reason why I'm, br I'm bringing this up, once again, why I wanted to share this with everybody is because this is basic, basic math that many, many, many uh, people just don't know. And that's okay, like we can't know everything in the world, right? But I'm letting you know, please, people, this will help you in your life. You know, nowadays, especially, you know, when we need money, when people are struggling for money, every dollar counts. The dollar that I burned, it, I, I did that to show you that, that it's gone now. That's completely burned now, right? To show you that, you know, that this is what you're doing to your money, all right? And yeah, we hear of that comment. Yeah, it's like burning money, but I wanted to show you, yeah, this is burning money. So I'm, I'm $1 less now because I wanted to show everybody exactly how you're doing it, how you guys are doing it when you don't understand this, okay? So... When you do go into a car uh, uh, dealership and you speak with a salesperson, not that all of them, and I don't even think most of them are, you know, going to do this, but there are some who, you know, they 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 work on on commission, and and the more interest rate they can get from you, the more money they make. All right, but guess what? <laughs> the, the more money you're going to spend in the long run. Okay. Now uh, let's just go over one one like another example. Okay. So like let's say you have really really good credit, which Anybody could have, right? Any, anybody can have, right? It's just knowing how to work that system. And by the way, just to let you know, guys, I mean, like the way that our financial system is set up, okay, and capitalism is set up, right? 
okay? We need to understand how our credits affect our lives, okay? It's very unfortunate that we um, are not, um, you know, many of us are not told this, you know, when we're younger, um, even when we're older, we don't understand how our credit can affect our, uh, like our lives. But for example, <clears throat> you know, Josh mentioned that, um, that I got a, a pretty good deal on the car, right? right? And my interest rate, I mean, I did go on like a holiday weekend and you know, they usually have sales and that's when I go, that's when I went and I got, I got my car. So that could be another, another strategy. Yeah. And this is something else. Yeah. And maybe this is like something for another uh, video, you know, maybe I can get a, like a car. So like somebody who works at a car dealership in here and explain to us like how that works. Okay. So, um, um, but I did go on there on a holiday weekend and they checked my credit and because my credit was good, it was great. I mean, it still is. They gave me a 0% interest rate. Okay. So now let's do the math on that. Okay. And let's see how much money you can save by, by, um, by, uh, uh, but by having good credit, okay. So uh, let's see. Uh, actually, um, if I get a zero percent interest, rate, it just means I'm not paying eighteen thousand dollars. <laughs> That's it, right? Because I'm just gonna replace this over here with a zero, right? So if I replace this with a zero, right? I mean, Josh, on your calculator, if you put three thirty thousand times zero, you're gonna get what? Zero. And then if you multiply that by six, you're gonna get what? Zero. Zero. Okay. So then that means my interest, instead of it being eighteen thousand, is a big fat zero, which now means this: thirty thousand plus zero equals thirty thousand dollars, right? Because now I'm adding my principal to the interest that I have to pay. I'm not paying any interest. I'm just paying the principal. So now I do thirty thousand dollars. Right? Divided by 72. Josh, can you help me out with that? $30,000 divided by 72 months is $416.67. Okay. So this is what somebody with, uh, with excellent credit and a 0% interest rate would pay for the same car. For the same car, okay, they'd be saving every month. They would be uh, not paying two hundred and fifty dollars, right? Pretty much exactly two hundred and fifty dollars because they have excellent credit. Okay, so uh, Josh, any questions regarding I equals PRT? Mm, let's see, interest, principal, rate. I think you explained it pretty well, actually. Yeah. Yeah. I think so. Okay. Well, look. Um, uh, if anybody has any questions, you know, when they're watching this video, uh, you know, put any comments in the in the comments area. Uh, I'm gonna put my phone number there as well. Just reach out to me if you have any questions, especially regarding like credit stuff. You know, I, I can help you with your credit. Um, I, I really do enjoy doing this uh, big time. I know that a lot of people are affected by. I know that I got affected by it when I didn't know how. Um, like how much I needed to, you know, credit, credit that it is my right to have. The good credit is, is, is a right that I have that I feel many people, many millions of people don't understand how much it can affect their lives. So uh, once again, any questions, reach out to me anytime. And hopefully uh, this uh, little lesson over here, you guys, um, you guys and girls will always remember. Thank you. Bye.